From Hollywood, John Morrell and Company, makers of three flavor Red Heart, America's favorite dog food, presents Metro Goldwyn Mayer's lovable motion picture star, Lassie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Red Heart presents the world's most famous dog, Lassie, in person. Now, you know what hot weather does to your appetite and how important it is for your meals to be appetizing. Well, that dog of yours appreciates appetizing meals, too. And when you feed him the Red Heart way, he always welcomes his dinner because all three delicious Red Heart flavors are flavors dogs like beef, fish, and cheese. Feed those three Red Heart flavors in rotation so that your dog doesn't get tired of his food. He'll not only enjoy Red Heart, but it's so good for him that it's sure to keep him healthy, happy, and handsome. Get a supply of free flavor Red Heart now. And now to introduce our story, followed by this week's Red Heart Award for Valor, here is Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax. Thank you, Charlie, and hello, everyone. Well, today, Lassie and I have a story for you about a dog named Tramp. Not much of a dog, I guess, but full of courage when he needed it most. The story started when Tommy Clark and his father decided to go down to the nearby river for an afternoon of fishing. Gee, it's such a swell day, Dad. Maybe I could get a little swimming in, do you think? No reason why not, son. Well, if the fish aren't biting, that is. Pete Norman was down yesterday, said he got more catfish than his folks could eat in three meals. (laughs) Well, it might be biting as good today. Ah, I hope so. You must eat my fish, will you? Hey, look, Dad. What's that man doing with that dog on the riverbank? He's got a rope around the dog's neck and the inside to a big rock. He's going to drown, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Hey, mister, what's wrong with the dog? It's nothing! It's a tramp dog and he snuck up behind me and ate my string of fish. Well, this rock around his neck will give him all the fish he wants in that river. <laughs> Say, that's a nasty thing to do. Throw a dog in the river to drown because of a few fish. Yeah, you think so? Well, if you're so sorry for the muck, don't get him. Oh, gosh, Dad, I'm going to pull that dog out. I've got my scout knife. I'll dive down and cut the rope. Hey, hey, wait, Pop. Oh, that kid risking his life for a muck dog. I, I got him, Dad. Here, son. Here. Grab my hand. I'll, I'll pull you in. Okay. I got the dog by the collar. Now, up to you, cop. Oh, gee, Dad. Is he dead? No, no, not by a long shot. Let's get to work and get the water out of his lungs. He'll be all right. Well, that man said he was a tramp dog, so he's mine now, because I saved him. <laughs> That's a boy. Oh, God. oh, hi, Dad. Here I am. Hey, Dad, look how strong Tramp's teeth are. Now watch, Dad. Okay, Tramp? Tug of war. Tug of war. <laughs> That's it, boy. Grab hold of the clothesline. Now, tug of war. Pull, <laughs> oh, Tramp. Pull. That's it. That's pretty good. But you mustn't make him pull on the rope too much. It might loosen his teeth. Okay, Dad. That's enough, Tramp. <laughs> and you better put away Mom's clothesline. Okay, Dad. <laughs> I came to tell you we'd better not count on fishing tomorrow. The river's rising bad. Oh, honest? I haven't been near the river for a week. Tramp's scared of the water. Well, you can hardly blame him after his experience. But mind what I say now, the river's rising fast. Look, it looks like a flood's on the way. If you go down there, be careful, Tom. Oh, I, I will, Dad. Hey, Tramp. <coughs> Let's go down to the river, huh, boy? Gee, if it's flooding, we might find some swell stuff floating down. Come on, Tramp. <coughs> Come on, Tramp. The old river won't hurt you. Oh, all right. You stay here. I'm going down to the bank. <coughs> hey, boy. Look at the swell stuff that floated down and got stuck on the island. Boy, here I can see a wheelbarrow. And there's a doghouse. Hey, Tramp, look out on the island. There's a swell little doghouse for you. <coughs> oh, come on, Tramp, you big sissy. <coughs> I bet I could row to the island and get that doghouse. 30 or 40 feet. I think I can fly the rowboat in the water by myself. I'm going to try. Here it is. Better get the oars and the oar locks first. The river's running pretty fast. Now I'll just shove. There, I'm in. Boy, I better start rowing. This current is fast. Uh. 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 
current's all too strong. I keep turning the boat. Not much further, though. One or two more good strokes. Oh, the boat's tipping. Help! 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 Where the dickens is Tom? Well, I'm sure I don't know, Frank. I've called and called. He's always home by this time. Oh, oh. oh there he is now. I hear tramp barking. Well, thank goodness. I'm starved. <laughs> for the love of Mike, Tom, where have you... Oh, oh. Well, Mother, this dog's all alone. Tom's not with him. Not with him? But why? Oh. What's that? Tramp acts like he wanted us to follow him. Mother, the river. It's awful bad. Do you think... Frank, that... quickly. Let's go, dear. Hurry. Yes. Come on. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, let me take this clothesline. Tramp! Find Tom. Find Tom, Tramp. Yeah, that's where he's taking us. Straight to the riverbank. Oh, Frank. I, I wonder... Oh, I hope nothing's happened. I bet you. Just got to be ready for anything. Here's the river. Oh, Frank, let's hurry. No, no. Take it easy, Mother. Here we are. Careful now. The bank's off. I, I don't see Tom. Oh, oh. Dad! Mother! Over here! Tom! He's on the island, Mother. Tom! 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 Where's our rubble? It's over, Dad! But, but if the boat's gone, how... Frank, this river's rising, Tom. The island will be underwater in an hour or two. I know it, Mother. i got to figure out a way to get this rope across the channel. Oh, no, oh. no, Tom. Come here. Oh, that dog looks almost as though he was going to jump in the water. Oh, oh! Hey, Tramp's trying to get up enough nerve to swim out to the island. He wants to get to Tom. Tramp, Tramp, come here. Stand still now, Tramp. What are you going to do, Tom? I'm going to tie the end of this clothesline to Tramp's collar. Then see if I can't get him to swim to Tom. There we are. Oh, no, he'll never do that. Tom. That dog's desperately afraid of water. I know, but he's even more afraid of losing Tom. Look at him, Mother. Tom! Call Tramp! Call him, boy! Tramp! Come here, Tramp! 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 Now go on, boy. Tramp. Go to town, Tramp. Tramp. He did it, Mother. Tramp did it. Swim, Tramp. Swim. Come on, Tramp. Oh, that's a dog. Come on, Tramp. Just a little farther and I can grab your collar. Oh, swim hard, Tramp. Swim. That a boy, Tramp. Come on. Come on. There. Got you, Tramp. Up you go. Oh. Trampy old boy. Oh, you did it. You swam to me. Tom! Hurry, Tom. The river's getting back. Well, what'll I do now, Dad? Try the rope to that tree. I got this end tied over here. You'll have to come hand over hand to it. Okay, Dad. Oh, I'm going to rope to the tree. That's good enough. Okay. Come on, Tramp. Let's get in the water and get back to land. <laughs> well, come on, Tramp. Well, you got to swim back. You just got to. <laughs> oh, and... Okay, now, I know what I got to do. First, I'll come off this extra piece of rope. Okay, now. I'm going to tie this one. I'm going to tie to my belt. Like that. Now I'll tie the other end of your collar. I just got to pull you in the water, Trampy, if you won't go in yourself again. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mother. That boy's got nerve. He'll make it fun. Keep going, Tommy. That's it. Hand over hand. Oh, Tom! Tom, look out for that log. Look out, Tom. Oh, oh, Frank. Frank, he's done it. Look, that floating log broke the rope. There's Tom. And there's Tom. 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 Look, Frank. Tom's got the end of the broken rope in his mouth. Yeah. Look out, Beth. Maybe I can pull him in. Tom. Tom, hang on. Hang on. Tug of war, Tom. Tug of war! Oh, he's holding! He's holding! Fall, Frank! Fall hard! There, my son. How do you feel? Oh, swell, Mom. It sure feels good to be in bed again. You had a bad time, son. You'd be dead right now if it wasn't for old Tramp. No. Oh, oh. Yes, you old 
Good old dog. Oh, Tramp. How can we ever thank you? Oh, come here. Come here, Trampy, old boy. Oh, golly. Well, looks like old Tramp is even the score. He's paid Tom off in full for saving him from Old Man River. <laughs> Thank you, Lassie, for an exciting story. Now, friends, in just a moment, Rudd Weatherwax will be back to present this week's Red Heart Award for Valor. But first, the word from our star. Say, uh, Lassie, you know, speaking of Valor, it seems to me that Tramp, the dog in this week's story, was pretty valorous himself. Don't you agree? <coughs> yes, sir. It's pretty plain that dogs learn the lesson of loyalty in a hurry, right? <coughs> And one of the finest things you can do for him in return, day in, day out, is to see that he gets Red Heart every meal. All three of those delicious Red Heart flavors, beef, fish, and cheese, contain exactly the same wholesome meat and meat byproducts, plus other nourishing ingredients to keep your dog in top condition. And at the same time, those three flavors, fed in rotation, give your dog the taste variety he welcomes. So feed your dog the Red Heart way, starting right now. Red Heart is federally inspected dog food, you know. Good for your dog in every way. And it's so quick, so easy to feed that you'll appreciate it, too. Keep all three Red Heart flavors on hand and feed them in rotation. Red Heart is the food your dog needs and wants. And now, Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax. Thanks, Charlie. This week, our Red Heart Award for Valor is presented to a dog named Tippy of Seattle, Washington. When a bandit entered the store of Mr. and Mrs. John Darrow and said, as he struck Mrs. Darrow with the butt of his pistol, this is a stick-up. Tippy bounded from the living quarters in the rear of the store and drove the armed bandit away. So today, in recognition of Tippy's bravery, we are sending Tippy a heart-shaped sterling silver locket for his collar, bearing the inscription, Red Heart Award for Valor to Tippy for rescuing his mistress, Mrs. Ina Darrell. And along with Tippy's award goes a salute from Lassie. <coughs> and a case of Red Heart, the food that all good dogs deserve. And to Mr. and Mrs. John Darrow of Seattle, Washington, our congratulations on having a swell dog like Tippy. <laughs> Next week, Lassie plays the part of a very cranky old dog that belonged to a very cranky old man. Don't miss it. Lassie is presented each week at this same time by John Morrell and Company, makers of three-flavor Red Heart, the taste-tested food that your dog will enjoy, the health-tested food that will keep him in shape. Lassie appeared by arrangement with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, who invites you to see their Technicolor production of Alexander Dumas, The Three Musketeers, starring Lana Turner, Gene Kelly, and June Allison. This program is produced in Hollywood by Frank Perrin, directed by Harry Stewart, story by Hobart Donovan. And now, a final reminder. The best way to provide for your future, the future of your family, is to buy U.S. savings bonds. Buy them where you work, on the payroll savings plan. Or, if you are your own boss, buy where you bank, on the bond a month plan. But buy them. U.S. savings bonds represent your belief in your own future, your belief in America. This is Charles Lyons.